This is essentially a brand new set of Cooper Discoverer Enduramax tires on my son's Jeep Patriot. Um, well, it's not absolutely brand new. They have about a couple hundred miles on them, maybe 500 miles on them. And um, we have had excellent luck with Cooper tires over the years. I've got my second set of Cooper Discoverer STT Pro tires on my Ram 1500. You may have caught some of our videos about those tires, but this is the Cooper Enduramax. Now we chose, or I should say he chose, and I kind of helped him uh, do some research on this, chose these Enduramax tires for a number of reasons. Number one was some of the reviews from other actual users. Tire Rack had some good reviews uh, on this tire here. Uh, plus it's got the, the, the blizzard snow type of rating uh, on it, which uh, doesn't do much for you if the rating's not for real, if it doesn't really work. Uh, but um, it's supposed to be a pretty good tire for the winter. It has not gone through a winter yet. Coming up, it's now the fall, but we'll see how it does throughout the winter. But the real point of this video is nothing about really Cooper Enduramax tires, but rather why he needed to get new tires so quickly. You see his previous set of tires uh, were the um, Geolanders, and uh, those had to be replaced at about 15,000 miles. Now you might be thinking, holy smokes, what is wrong with those tires? I don't think there was really anything wrong with those tires, but rather they wore out due to time. Time was the killer there. So he had that new set of tires put on this Jeep um, because his old tires, uh, original OEM tires, just wore out. Okay, so that's, that's fair. Had those Geolanders put on there. Uh, and then COVID hit. And this Jeep didn't move hardly at all for about a year and a half, almost two years, just a little bit, uh, working from home, all that kind of stuff like this. And so, and he doesn't drive that much in the first place. But um, what happened is those tires wore out over time. What we started seeing is tread wear separation from the tire itself. And when I first saw those, I was quite concerned. That does not look like a safe tire to drive and, and certainly not to put it on the interstate or anything with high speeds. So did a little bit of research on that and come to find out that, you know, even if you don't drive too much, you are probably going to need a new set of tires in five to six years simply because of those issues. Now you might think that that's kind of strange, that a tire that doesn't go anywhere, isn't even used, that it wears out, that it has those sorts of problems start to uh, show up. And that was my thoughts as well. And so what I did, as I of course did a little bit of research, and it's not the fact that the tire over time will wear out, because right here we have a set, um, well actually one, Goodyear tire. The idea with this one was that we would hold on to this tire, mount it on the rims, give them another spare tire that's in pretty good shape rather than the little donut. And uh, we never really did that. It just never got mounted, didn't even need it. But this tire, I don't know, it's probably 10 years old and you cannot see any of those sorts of problems. The problem is not that the tire in time or even sitting out in the elements, this is just sitting outside in the yard, uh, that that is causing the problem. What it is, is it's time when a tire is mounted, it's inflated and it's bearing a load, right? It is on this uh, Jeep and there is some weight uh, added to this thing. Once that happens, you actually mount a tire, that clock started, uh, kind of starts ticking. Got about five or six years it looks like. So even if you don't drive too much and you think, well I just put those tires on a few years ago, um, there can't be anything wrong with them. Well, 
don't make that assumption. It could be really unsafe for you. So take a look at your tires. Take a look really closely uh, at the tread wear that you have left, especially if you do quite a bit of driving. But even if you don't, take a look at the potential separation called dry rot type of thing that you might be um, seeing or not seeing on your tires and you won't see it if you don't check it. So go ahead and check your tires. It's coming up into the fall, the winter of the years just around the corner. Take a look at those sorts of things. If you're interested, we'll see how these Cooper and Duramax tires do in the winter. Give you a little review later on in the spring. Let us know if you're interested in that. Thanks for watching.